Make sure you grab a jump rope because this push-up workout will have high intensity interval training. One way we can get high intensity interval training into our routine is by using a jump rope, okay? Because idealistically, we are able to do the exercise without tripping up. That means have enough coordination to do it and to do it with such intensity that we would have to take a rest before we went into our next set. So for example, if I'm doing bicep curls and I'm saying I'm doing five sets of 12, I'm taking about 30 seconds to 60 seconds rest in between sets. When it comes to the high intensity interval cardio training like a jump rope, I might set my sights so about 100 repetitions and then focus on taking, I don't know, 30 seconds rest in between sets. So I'm gonna show you guys what that's like now, all right? 100 reps, and try this with me. If you can't jump rope, you can fake it, you know, but you really wanna give a lot of effort. It's 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, more effort, 80, 90, last 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. All right, give a lot of effort. And that last 10, take short rest, go right back forward. Again, this is high intensity interval training. I'm jumping as fast and as high as possible, trying to get as much energy output as possible, and then taking a hard break, and then going right back into the movement. All right, here we go, 100. as forceful as humanly possible, keeping my heart rate up 100 reps. I can tell you that I was getting a little winded at around about 50. So I kept going until 70, then I slowed down. My intensity meant I wasn't jumping as high and jumping as hard, I was just keeping the rope moving. And then the last 10 from 90 to 100, I tried to explode as much as humanly possible. So I'm probably gonna have to do that again now. We just start off very strong until I run out of gas, jump high and hard. 10, 20, 30. 100, still out of breath. I think I have two more sets left here. And then we're gonna do various push-ups, also using the total gym and just plain old calisthenics. We'll do regular from the floor as well, but we're gonna do a regression. Start harder and make it easier as we go. All right, last, second to last set.
70. Ooh. 80. Eight, four, five, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. All right. Okay, good. I hope you're jumping along with me. This is intended for us to work out together. Again, if you can't jump rope, fake it until you make it. This is a good, quick hit workout. Playing on words because it's high intensity interval, cardio training, and some push ups in and out the door. So if you want to stay fit in under 20 minutes, say, these push ups and this jump rope routine is a good little jump start for you. It's not the end all be all. Let's go. So we're done with the jump rope portion. I want to circle back to what I said before. A quick hit workout under 20 minutes. I don't recommend under 20 minutes typically. So if you're going to push yourself with the jump rope and the push-ups in this progression and you don't want to go harder than a normal walk, I suggest you do this, push yourself and then walk for about 35 to 40 minutes and then you have a workout. I don't believe in these short workouts. They're better than nothing, but I don't wanna get you in that mindset. Okay, on to push-ups. All right, we're gonna do our push-up progression now, or regression, I'm sorry. We're gonna start off with a handstand push-up, which is harder than doing it on the floor. So I'm gonna try about 15 to 20 here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 17. The handstand push-ups are going to be harder than my next regression, meaning easier, which is going to be incline. So I'm going to have my feet up top and do a push-up on the floor. And this time I should be able to get like 20 repetitions. So I'm using the total gym to do incline push-ups work in the upper portion of the chest here. The last one worked the shoulders more. All right, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Huh. I've experienced extreme muscle fatigue. The next portion of the regression is going to be a diamond grip push up. I think I'm going to get 21 there. Diamond grip push-ups. I'm gonna go for 20. Diamond grip push-ups. I'm gonna go for 25 here. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One at a time. One, two, three, four, five. A very difficult 25. So that's a regression from incline. I wasn't going to be able to do 25 on the incline. Certainly couldn't do 25 on the, whew, catching my breath, handstand push-ups. So I'm certainly reserved my energy for doing the last regression, which is the regular push-up. I might get between 25 and 30 repetitions. Again, you can see I'm sweating. This is very difficult, not easy. And this is how we finish off a pretty tough routine. If you can't do these inclines and you can't do the handstand push-up at level six, for sure I want you to bring that bed down to level three, four, two, do what you gotta do to build yourself up. This is just where I am getting a serious workout now. Okay, finishing off with regular push-ups. Here we go. 25 to 30. One, two, three, four, six, eight, ten, one, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see where I go. One, two, three, four, five. 26, 27. Oh, okay, I'm fatigued, that's it for me. I'm wiped out, really, really wiped out. So that's how we do the regressions using the total gym, handstand push-ups. Then I'm able to do more incline. Then I'm able to do more diamond grip. Then I'm able to do more on the normal flat push-up because it's a regression. It's easier than doing it the opposite way where I would have started off with more reps and ended off with less. So this is another way of doing what we call a reverse pyramid. And again, a very short but very tough workout. I'll catch you guys next time.